Okay, so in this example, we are asked to determine the coordinates of the turning points of the curve of the function with this equation. Here's the equation given, and we must determine the coordinates of the turning point. Okay, so you can see we, if we simplify this, we will get, let me simplify this first, we will get y is equal to x cubed, if I multiply in the x, minus 16x. Okay, so what type of function is it? Well, it's a cubic polynomial. So if we were to draw this, it would look, it would have a positive shape. It would look uh, something like this. Okay, I don't know exactly where it cuts or whatever, but we know that there are going to be two turning points. And to find the coordinates of those turning points, remember that the turning point has the feature that the gradient at that point is zero. So we need to get the formula for the gradient in terms of x. How do we do that? Well, the formula for the gradient is simply the derivative. So we find the derivative, and there's little y to the um, y with this little accent is the derivative or we can say dy over dx okay is equal to okay so i'm rather going to use this format than that one it's more common to use this one when we are using an expression for the function in terms of y and then we have 3x squared minus 16 1 times 16 is negative 16 one gets subtracted so it's x to the power of zero which i do not need to write so if i make this equal to zero then i should get the coordinates for my turning points let's see what those are so i'll get uh, 3x squared equal to 16 that means x would be equal to plus minus 16 over 3 and if I solve this what do I get well I'll get plus or minus 4 over the square root of 3 okay or since I don't want to write um, irrational denominators I'll multiply numerator and denominator with a square root 3 so that this is a is a better format we've got 4 square root 3 over 3 plus or minus so those would be my two turning points let's quickly see that's the x coordinate that would be the x coordinate so I should have not that would be 1 would be minus 4 square root 3 over 3 the other one would be plus 4 square root 3 over 3. Obviously, the neg one with the negative will be further left. The one with the positive would be further right. The question now is, what do I find for my uh, for my y values? Let's quickly see what that is. If we So, to find the y values, we must just substitute into the formula we have for y. So, we've got the x-coordinates. Let's start with x is equal to plus, uh, negative square root negative 4 negative 4 square root 3 over 3 okay so using my calculator I am just first going to since that is a difficult number I'm just going to say 4 times 3 the square root of that divided by 3 is equal to 2.3094 blah 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 I'm going to store that in my memory, memory store so that now I have the x value in there. Okay, so here is the function, the formula for y that I must use. So I say memory, that's x, that's memory recall. Okay, however, I stored the positive at part. I should use the negative though, uh, the one with the negative in front. Negative cubed. Okay, so that is cubed minus 16 times memory recall but with a negative so if I round my y value I get it somewhere 24.63 so that means y is uh, roughly 24 
4.63 if x and is that negative no it's not it's positive okay so next number the next one was x is equal to positive 4 square root 3 over 3 and that's what we have here okay we have if we substitute into our formula there's our formula we have memory recall okay that is now the positive one that I'm going to use cubed minus 16 times memory recall okay there we go and that gives me negative 24.63 okay so this answer is y is equal to negative 24.63 so what does that mean that means that our the coordinates that we now have is well what was the x again uh, there's the x 2.31 so this one was negative 2.31 and the y value 24.63 and this one was positive 2.31 and the x value was negative 24.63 and there's the two coordinates for the turning point of this function